Hello all you beautiful peoples. I haven't seen you guys in such a long time. I was actually a little inspired by Gina and my husband's been pushing me to do this. <laughs> Gina's visiting. This is going to be the first video. I haven't made one in a year. Um, I don't have my timer. <laughs> okay, I'll try and do, do it quick for a first video. In the year that I've been gone, I have gotten so many subscribers and I've been communicating with them, but they haven't really seen me in a new video. So I just want to say hi to everybody and welcome to my channel. And I hope you have fun with me. And I want you guys to keep on communicating with me because I did get to know a couple of you guys and it was awesome chatting with you. And I also know that my first video is supposed to be the massage bars because over a year ago, I promised somebody, actually Thelma Lou, that I would make a massage bar video. It's been a long time due and I can't make it because I can't find my stuff because everything is still in boxes. But for today, I'm going to actually do a review. And there's a couple of, I know I don't do review, but in the year that I've been gone, I've gotten a couple of really, uh, what would I call them, golden gems. Golden gems that I would die if I don't tell you guys about it. It's so good, okay? So the first thing I'm going to review is going to be, hmm, ta-da, Epilator. Epilator ESWD51. Okay. Now, here's the thing, okay? I'm going to show you what it looks like. This must be, okay, I got the pink, I think it's pink. I don't think that all of this specific one is pink. It's got a little on-off switch, and this is what it sounds like. And see the little thing is there, it's turning, and it's like a thousand tweezers pulling out hairs at the same time, okay? Now, it has a couple of different heads you can actually shave with. I know when you guys saw my husband the last time he actually had a beard, but until then, since then, he's gotten rid of the beard and he's actually been using the shaver. This is the most amazing shaver head you've ever seen. It has a little push-up part that you can do your bikini line with, just like so. I wonder if you guys can see that. And I'm telling you all the good stuff, but I swear to God, don't go and buy this bloody thing before you've watched the whole video. Because I tell you, you need... <laughs> You need balls <laughs> to use this thing. So don't go freaking buying this thing because I'm telling you how awesome it is before I tell you what the hell I went through with this, okay? So there's the shaver head, okay? There's the um, uh, actual epilator head. You just, there's a little button on the side. You just push it and you take this head out and then you can put the shaver head in, clicks in just like so and then you have the most fabulous shaver I've ever seen in my life. Johan uses the men's shavers and none of them he likes as much as he likes this shaver, okay? He uses this shaver to actually do his beard. It goes around nooks and crannies for him. It's perfect around this, the jawline. It's like he has a male shavers, but he's using this. This is, has the awesome, most awesomest shaver head on it that you can think of. It also comes with um, different, I guess, I, don't, I can't even remember what this one is, but it is a little plastic head that you can put on top of it if you want to shave, that's not quite, I guess you can do like, I don't know, hair on your head or something. I don't know. But anyway, I have to read through those things again. I have, I've used this thing, but I've, I've only literally used these two. And then, of course, it has a cover to protect your little blades from, you know, getting wrecked. And it just comes on and off like that. So that's the basic thing. So I'm just going to take it off again, show you how. Take off the, the shaver head. And then you're going to put on the epilator head. Okay, just like so. It just buzzes like like a vibrator. I would suggest you use it for that. <laughs> okay, so here's the thing. People, I have no idea what made me get this thing. I, I, I was either friggin' drunk at the time or something. I don't know. But this is the thing that I hate the most. But I have never had something work this wonderful. Now, I have to tell you guys. You know that I was an esthetician before I became a personal trainer, right? I used to do Brazilian waxes for other people, I used to do bikini waxes, and I did leg waxes for other people. I tried it once or twice with myself. There is no way in hell I could tolerate that pain. It just, it killed me. It just killed me. I, I ripped one one strip off my leg and that was it. That was the last of freaking wax anywhere near my body. It's like, it was not going to happen. Okay, so here's the thing. I've waxed people forever. I found it too painful because um, you guys know that I'm my hair is really dark okay like it's not just my head hair that's dark my body hair is dark too so so my leg hairs are dark and i tell you i swear to god i'm like mrs hobbit okay i have lots and lots and lots of leg hairs okay so what would happen was i would shave and then i always had issues and this is so strange that i would have shaving issues because uh, i have a really tough skin like my, my skin is like like 
like a rubber band or something. The doctor's always, you know, trying to get a needle in when he needs to shoot something inside of me or draw blood or whatever. And my skin is really tough. But for some reason, I did not do well with shaving. Like I tried every shaving cream out there. I tried every blade out there. And in the end, the only thing that didn't give me these horrendous bumps with that um, lady shaver with the two pink, uh, what the heck is it? I'll review it at some point because it's a fabulous shaver. But you know what? It's a pain in the butt because the blades I've got, ever since we've moved here, I thought the blades in Canada was expensive. Oh my God. Here in San Diego, it's uh, everything is more expensive than everywhere else in the world. I think even anywhere else in, 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 in the States as well. Okay, so I decided there's no way in hell I'm going to keep on paying for those blades. It's ridiculous. And I go through those blades and I have to shave so much. And then the one thing that I didn't like was because my hairs are so dark, I would shave. And then even after I've shaved, shaved and you see those little black dots like just like sticking out under the skin. It looks like a five o'clock shadow. You know what I mean? Like you, when you look close to your legs. Now when I'm tanned, you don't see it as much. But always had the little black things because my hair was so dark. Like just little black dots on your legs. Anyway, so I got this damn thing. <laughs> oh my God, people. For those of you who have children and have given birth naturally, okay, you will be giving birth when you use this thing. Because I swear to God, it took me three full days of epilating, being able to tolerate the pain. Like I literally went like, okay, so this is my leg. It was like, shave, ah! and then another one shave. Ah! So that's how I shave my legs. Now, you guys know I'm not in Canada and I'm not on 10 acres anymore. I'm in San Diego and my neighbors are close enough that if you, if I open my front door and I fart really loudly, then she can hear it when her back door is open. Okay. So when I was sitting outside or in my bedroom doing my epilating thing, she ended up coming out at some point and asking me that she was really scared that Johan was attacking me or doing something to me and whether she should be, you know, if, I, if was I in danger or whatever, because should she call 911? And I said, oh, no, honey, don't worry. I'm just epilating, you know. And that went on for three friggin' days because it was the most pain I have ever experienced in my life. I peed my pants. I sweat blood. My follicles, are because they're so dark and so black, were so thick. <laughs> Oh my god. It was it was like I mean I even tried taking Advil <laughs> before I epilated. It didn't work shit. <laughs> so I epilated. My neighbor lady nearly called 911 because she thought I was dying, and for three days I was screaming until I had no voice left. Okay, now I was really determined to do this because the little piece that I actually got done on the first day. The next day was awesome. It looked so beautiful compared to the other piece. And now here's the fun part. Compared to shaving, we, you, you, we, well, uh, compared to um, waxing, whenever you wax, uh, your hairs need to be at least, I would say, a half a millimeter, uh, half a millimeter, a half a centimeter to three quarters of a centimeter to be able to rip the hair, the hair out with a wax. If this little doodad can even get rid of little... Um, like uh, peach fuzz, you know how there's a whole bunch of videos out of people like getting rid of peach fuzz and then your makeup goes on, your foundation goes on so much better and you know, all of those lovely things. Well, these things can actually rip a hair out when it's just sticking out of the skin a millimeter. So you don't have to grow up and look like a friggin' hobbit before you can use this thing. I use it every day. Okay, not in the beginning because I swear to God, I looked like I had a disease on my legs after those three days. I was full of red bumps. It was painful. My legs, Johan couldn't even touch my legs. Like, do not touch me. He could not touch me for three days. My legs burned so much. And I put cream on and the cream would hurt. And I would shower and hot water and cold water. I tried everything. I even put ice on it. At some point, oh yeah, Johan took some ice cubes and he was going up and down my legs with the ice cubes. I don't know what the hell I was thinking, okay? But... I am so thankful that I went through that pain and I did that because after those three days, I just continued going. Like it was like, it was, well, for one day I didn't do anything, but then I just kept going and every day there would be a couple of new hairs coming out and I would just rip those hairs out. Now, by that point, compared to the pain that I had for three days, I just kept on going and kept on going and kept on going. And I've been doing it now for three months. I still do it every day. It's not a pain in the butt because you're not taking a bath and you don't have to go to the shower or something to, to like shave your legs. To me, shaving was a pain in the ass and it's never going to stop being a pain in the ass. So <clears throat> I use this and 
I used it like literally every night. Johan would be, you should see my little positions there. Johan loves it. He thinks it's very sexy. I'll be sitting on the couch. Johan will be sitting next to me. He'll be rubbing my feet, you know, for the pain and for the, the, the um, for helping me out and making me feel better. And I just sit there. We'd watch TV or watch a movie or have a glass of wine or something. And I would just literally run this thing, thing over my leg right from the bottom to the top. Even, oh my God, I even have toe hairs another good thing okay so I even do those with them and then eventually I thought oh I'm gonna try this on my face but anyway that's besides the point I did it on my face it's awesome because you know those little like peach fuzzy things that you get when you get older because yes I get older and I know when I look in the video camera I look like a hundred years old because you haven't seen me in a year but that's okay uh, I'll also tell you about some other facelift at some point very cool but back to this if, if you guys can go through the suffering and you can survive this you will love this thing. Now, it's a love-hate relationship because here's the thing. When I, sometimes I get lax with it a little bit, I'm lazy, and then I'll let two or three days by, oh my God, then I have, then I'm giving birth all over again because then it's like all these hairs, because you know, all over your body, your peach fuzz, your leg, your leg hairs, your underarm hairs, anything that you, you your eyelashes, your eyebrows, it has a cycle of, of growth, right? Every single hair, there's no two hairs like standing right next to each other, which is in the same cycle of growth. Every single hair in your body has a different growing cycle, right? So as the hairs are coming out and you keep on just epilating and epilating, it goes so fast now after three months. And here's the fun part about it. I cannot believe how the texture of my hairs on my legs have actually changed. My hair, I swear to God, went from pitch black hairs with black bulbs that I would shave and you could see black dots under my skin looking like a... a, a man with a uh, five o'clock shadow to being blonde like literally if i actually go by three or four days without shaving and all these hairs are coming out you can't see them there's no dark bulbs there's no nothing they're blonde they don't have the same pigment in them that they used to have before so they lit literally are blonde so i've done some research before i actually bought this thing because they're fairly expensive i can't remember what i bought what i paid for this thing but i, I ordered it online i literally just googled um, actually, I think I went on my makeup alley and I said epilators. And so I went through the list of epilators and then I said epilator reviews on Google. And this one got the best reviews, lasting the longest. There's one lady, there's or there's a couple of people actually, but one lady said she's had hers for 10 years. Never had to switch, never had a problem, never had the blades going uh, dull, never anything. She just kept going with it for 10 years. Now remember, if you buy this thing, you will have more children than you have currently because you will be giving birth the first time is so painful three days that's how long it took me of taking breaks i was sweating and dying while i did it now i am so glad i stuck with it and my husband's really impressed with my really soft legs and the thing that i love the most is I don't have to shave in the morning and if I go out at night and I wear a mini skirt, I have to shave again because you see those little stupid retardedly black dots even if I'm tanned, right? After all the pain and agony, you know what makes it absolutely truly worth it? It's the fact that this thing is covered in hairs. And you know how I know it gets pulled out completely by the bulb? The hair that's sticking out of my skin is literally a millimeter, a millimeter long, okay? When the hairs get ripped out and they're flying all over the place like crazy, the actual hair that's pulled out is like this long. So it rips out all the way and you can see the little bulb at the bottom of the hair that you've ripped out. Now it's not painful anymore. Like I've, I find just because I'm doing it every single day sitting in front of the computer, it definitely goes much faster than freaking shaving. And you don't have to go in the nooks and crannies. Like it's just, for me, it's like maybe it takes a minute, okay? Or maybe two minutes max. Every night in front of the TV just goes up my leg from the bottom to the top, done, back, back, back. Sometimes Johan will help because... I'm not quite as flexible as I used to be and I have to go like right behind the, the knee there and then your knees kind of bent. If you guys are thinking of epilating and if you think you can tolerate the pain, buy this thing. It is really good quality. Even if you don't buy it for the epilator, this is the most amazing electrical shaver you will ever, ever see. So have a great day, people, and um, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>